Good morning. So we have just finished our Mondays, 6.15 a.m. and 7 a.m. live workouts. Today was about boxing and glute work, so bum work. And the reason we, we do some more focused work on the glutes is obviously there's a lot of pressures from everyday life on your knees a lot and on your, on your thighs, right? So you're always walking upstairs and walking or walking around, getting up and down a bit more than you do anything else really, right? Obviously your steps might have decreased recently. However, like if you can strengthen your glutes, this can actually support you and your knees, take pressure off your knees and actually make everyday tasks easier. So if you can get, feel more comfortable doing it, then you're gonna get a lot more out of it. Now what I wanted to talk about before I go into actually showing you a few things around this in a bit more detail in terms of the exercise, is how to build momentum even if it feels hard now. And I know it sounds really like, yeah, but you know, we can be very, it can be very difficult if you're in a place where you're like, no, it's just too hard at the moment. Everything's, you know, it's a stressful time, a lot of fear, anxiety about the future. But actually, if you just look back and if I explain it like riding a bike, you know, there's probably many times where you fell off and you're thinking, there's no way I can do this. Like, you know, when I, with my daughters at the moment, they get very easily frustrated if they can't do something. Like, it's as simple as peeling a sticker off of something that's quite hard to peel off. They're frustrated doing it. And at the time, it probably feels to them that there's no way that they could ever peel the sticker off. They can't do it. And it's like almost like a strop, isn't it? Then look at driving. Think of driving when you first started learning to drive. Like, you weren't born able to drive. So if you ever say to yourself, oh, there's no way, I'm just, I can't exercise at home, etc. But you weren't born that way and you weren't born to drive. You weren't born to do anything. We learn it as we go. And that's the way I kind of describe building momentum. Because once you do it, you look back and think, wow, did I find that hard? Think of that job interview. Think of that work you once did. It was probably, at one point, a real monumental effort to get it done and probably felt a lot harder at the time you, you kind of probably felt like it would never end i know i felt the same in university times and, and things like that doing projects and research i thought wow when this is over will this ever be over will i be able to just keep doing it so to do this you've just got to pick one thing and just take it one step at a time and i say this all the time but quite often overwhelm is just created so for example there's no way a list, a to-do list, can, can overwhelm you. It's just our thoughts about this list, right? So you have a list of things to do. This list, if it's exhaustive, if we think that we have to do it all, and they're all priorities, this is when we get overwhelmed. Whereas actually, if you just pick one today, so you know, people might say, you've got to eat well, you've got to meditate, you've got to eat with this, you've got to eat seven of these, food this, did it. And that's all great. These are all good stuff. Drink two liters of water. But you don't need to do them all to get results. And in fact, if you just do one very well this week every day, you'll probably get 80% of the results you would have trying to do being perfect, but actually you'll be able to stick to it and add one in. And this is where you habit stack. So habit stack, not snack. If you add on a habit each week, slowly bring it in, you'll be more likely to actually include it in. So it might be that today you go, I'm gonna drink a glass of water every two and a half hours or every three hours, whatever. You're gonna set an alarm to do this. So you ask, how am I gonna do this? Set an alarm and I'm gonna do this. Or it might be that you say, I will have five different vegetables today. I know that's quite hard at this time. Or it might be that you have protein at each meal. Or it might be that you say, I only eat fruit or vegetables in between meals. Like whatever it is, one habit that's probably gonna make you eat more nutritious foods, make better decisions, kind of hit that physiological need, the physiological need to mean that it's easier not to snack. So if you're getting the nutrients your body needs, you'll probably have less urges to snack and more control. For example, if you're low on protein, low on fiber, low on you know, filling foods, then snacky food becomes even more desirable. Throw in tiredness, stress, and a bit of fear. And of course, we're gonna be more susceptible to having these foods. Anyway, I hope that helps. And if you have, like, share it. Let me know what your one habit will be today by commenting below or sending me a message. Always keen to know how you get on with one habits because it's got to be your habit. If I give you the habit, there'll be some kind of almost like resentment of it. Like, no, I won't do that. If you come up with that habit and you're comfortable doing it, you're more likely to stick to it. Just pick one thing today. 
Whilst we're here, I am going to show you one exercise that you can literally do from a standing position, whenever, wherever, and again, it's something you can build into your day, like if you were boiling a kettle or just, you know, have a bit of break from, if you're working from home. So, you don't need to get to the floor for this, but you can do if you want to. So here's how it works. And sorry to put my bum in your face for this, but I will have to. So, you can lean on like a sofa arm or a wall for this, and all you're gonna do is you're gonna straighten your leg out, okay? So, notice how my leg stays straight on this. My toe is down, my heel's at the top. You'll notice that the higher you try and get, the more tension goes in your bum, okay? So the higher you get, the more tension goes in your bum. And again, I'm, it's really important that you get these techniques right and you don't just rush into things like this because the last thing you want is an injury with, with this stuff, being at home. So we're here, there. We're holding here, toe down. Then from here, what you're gonna do is just circle round. So you're just gonna do a little circle round on there. Then what you do is just change direction. Remember, if you want to make it easier, just lower your leg. That's still fine. Go at your level. The right pace is always your pace. If you want to make it harder, lift a bit higher. Harder, lift a bit higher again. Harder, lift a bit higher again. Then, if you want to make it even harder, write your name. So you write your first name. Make sure cap locks are on. This is great one to do with the kids, by the way. <laughs> Period one, we all learn the alphabet. Now your second name. Mother's maiden name. Name of first school. Name of first pet. And relax from there. So we're now going to switch leg, okay? Exactly the same on the other side. So we come to the other side. Straighten the leg. Toe down. Heel right up. Small circles round. And again. And then we're going to change direction. Remember, go at your level. This is going to go a bit lower you can. Just go at your level, so small circles round, and you'll feel that tension. It's such a simple move, yet you'll get a lot of tension in your glutes here. So again, you're going to write your name now, okay? So just write your name in on here. Your full name, not the shortened version. And then middle name if you want, surname. Keep coming. It's literally a three minute hit for your glutes. You could... Literally, snack exercise, break up seated behavior. Because remember, you're going to be walking less, you're going to be moving less than ever. Even if you're going for a structured walk, I guarantee, relax on that, I guarantee your step count will probably be lower just from the, the activity you're not doing, like popping to a friend's. Like for me, I used to go from coffee shop to coffee shop to coffee shop to coffee shop a lot. <laughs> Obviously, I'm not doing that now. So my step count's gone completely down. So I hope that helps. If you found that helpful, like, share, send me a, send me a message if you want to see anything, let me know and we shall go from there. Have a great day and speak soon.